Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm very excited to be reviewing my third Eugendo figure. This is their World War II German LAH division figure from Hungary, 1945. So let's take a look at this box for starters. Here's a picture of the figure that you're getting. And this is my first German figure from Eugendo, so I'm pretty excited to see how he looks. But this is a a sleek looking box, pretty simple as always. And on the back we've got another picture there of him. And this one was made in 2022, so this is a pretty a pretty recent one from them. All right, and then if you flip this over, we've got a really cool picture here or backdrop display um, piece here for the figure. This is really nice. All right. And um, I don't think there's anything to show inside, so I'll show his weapons and everything later on. So that's the box. Let me take out the figure now. All right, so here's the basic figure without everything equipped. Let's just take a look at him really quickly here. So, really beautiful uniform. I love that camouflage pattern, that's really nice. Boots look really good. Real shoelaces and got the leggings here or gaiters and you do have to put those on yourself which I've already done and then here's the head sculpt which is really nice very very impressive especially the hair and the eyes as well I don't know if you can tell but the eyes are incredibly lifelike and he's also got um, that blue scarf so all right, I'll go ahead and gear up the figure now. All right, guys, well, here's the figure all geared up. And overall, he's really impressive. Very lifelike. And I especially love the camouflage patterns between the coat and the uniform underneath. It just meshes really well together. All right, well, as you can see, his main weapon here is the MP44. And he holds this really well. You can get some cool poses. And it is plastic as opposed to metal, which I actually prefer. The metal weapons are cool, but um, I find that they weigh down the figure a lot and they tend to be a lot more fragile. So I'm really glad they decided to make this plastic. All right, and here it is up close. It's a good looking model. I really like the wooden stock and a pretty sturdy sling on there. The magazine pops out and the sights are adjustable, so a good looking weapon. And actually that's really the only weapon he comes with. He doesn't come with a sidearm or a knife, but he does come with this stick grenade, which just goes right in the front of his belt like that. And this is really nice. It's got a wooden handle and the top part is metal. So this. This is really nice. Now here's the head sculpt with the fur hat on. And it looks really good. It fits nicely onto his head, pretty snug. It's not too big or too small, I don't think. And if you want, you can untie the flaps and put them down. I think I prefer them up, but 
it's pretty cool having them down as well. It just depends on what you like. And here it is up close. I love the fur lining on this. This feels great and looks great. And you do have to put those insignia on yourself. They just stick right on. All right, so great hat. And you can see I've got the scarf over his head right now to keep him extra warm in the cold. As for equipment he comes with, we've got some magazine pouches here for the MP44. Uh, they don't provide you with extra magazines. It's just like a foam inside of there. And in the back, he's got an entrenching tool, his mess tin and canteen, bread basket, and a nice Y strap. Now, when my one critique of this figure would be the belt. This is actually a Dragon Models belt right there. I swapped it out because the original, the original one was so bad, in my opinion. It, I was trying to figure it out for the longest time, and I ended up just breaking it because I just could not get this thing to, to work. So the only, <clears throat> excuse me, the only difference here between the two is that the buckle is a little bit bigger than the Dragon Models one. But <clears throat> if you look here underneath the buckle, they've got these little tiny pins and you're supposed to latch it on to this strap here, which previously had tiny little holes and it's supposed to, I guess, just stick in there like so. But this is so wobbly that it just kept sliding out every time I tried to hook it onto those into those holes. So the design of this, I think, is just really poorly made. And I was getting pretty frustrated trying to get this thing to work. And eventually, uh, this strap just tore off because I kept trying to do it so many times. So that's my one criticism of the figure is this belt is kind of crap. But um, I just went ahead and swapped out for a Dragon Models belt. And I think that works a lot better. All right. Well, moving on. I really love his coat. The camouflage pattern is really awesome. And I love the fur lined hood. That looks fantastic. All right. And then lastly, they also provide you with these gloves for the figure, as shown on the box. But they really don't fit onto his hands. He's got these really big hands and I tried putting them on and they're just too small. So they're kind of just there. I mean, if you want to try to put them on, go for it, but I don't think you're going to have much luck They're They're pretty small and his hands are too big for him. So it's kind of unfortunate, but that seems to be the way it goes with the gloved hands for figures. All right, guys. Well, I think that's everything to show for the figure. Overall, he's really awesome. I definitely recommend checking this figure out. I got him off a site called Fairway Hobbies for like, I think, um, 190 So he's relatively new, um, but still, he's kind of hard to find. Uh, he seems to be um, tricky to find on eBay, so I was happy to find him on Fairway Hobbies. All right, well, I'll be showing him on his display stand in a moment here, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.